So today I'm going to be using some new brushes that I purchased recently. Um, this is not a new brush actually, it's just one of my Real Techniques um, brushes. And right now I'm just highlighting high points above the brow. So now I'm going to go in with my Goss airbrush and do a sec use a secondary highlighter which is the um, Anastasia Ambrisi new highlighter going straight over that same highlight again I'm using it as a topper so now I'm going in with my Sonia G scope one brush just to do a nice natural contour um, and I'm using my Makeup Forever 30M bronzer, Pro Bronze Fusion. So right now I'm just pretty much setting the stage for um, a more defined contour that I'm going to come in with later. So if you notice, I am blending over the same spots over and over again because I like my contour to be very, very, very well blended because today I plan on going in with a more deeper contour. So now I'm going to be using my Sonya G Sculpt 4 brush to deepen up my contour. And I'm going to be using my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in Dark Deep which is a little deeper than the uh, first contouring powder I started with, the, the first bronze I actually started with. It's a little bit deeper. And I'm just going to start to sculpt out my cheeks a little further. I usually don't hold the brush this way, but just trying something new. <laughs> So at this point I'm realizing that this color is just not that deep enough. So I'm going to be um, going gonna in go my with my MAC Metal Light Skin darkest. Finish in Deep. Dark Deepest dark to deepest, um, right. add a little more um, color. That one was a little too light. So right now I'm using the sides of the brush to blend out um, any harsh lines I may have created using this deeper powder. So now I'm going in with my Wayne Goss number 11 face Denona, brush and I'm also going to be using my Duo. Natasha Denona blush duo palette number 9 for, the, for my blush. Now I'm going into a new shadow I got from Makeup Geek called um, Tan Lines. And it, I don't know, I just, when I saw it, I just knew already that it would be good for contouring my nose. I just got to go in lightly. Is it creased or? Yeah, creased. That's the name of it, creased. I'm going to go in and contour my nose with this with the um, sculpt for oh boy go this way
I'm going to my worker one. And I'm going into creased makeup geek. This color is beautiful. I don't have another brown like this in my collection. going into my Pat McGrath um, Bronze Ambition palette and the color I'm going into is called Illicit. I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease and I'm going to be using the Worker 2 brush to do that. I'm going to add it just a little to the side. Lightly tap. I'm gonna go back in with the is this the builder two? Where's my builder two? Builder two, where are you? Okay, with the builder two. And I'm going to go into some color, some gold color. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Thank you. 
Okay, so that is it with the eye. I'm actually going to be adding some liner um, and everything else off camera, and then I'll be back. So this is the finished look. I added some lashes, liner, lipstick. Also went into my lower. I smoked out my lower lash line using the, what is that, the Builder um, 2 brush. And that was the only thing I did extra. And so this is it. I hope you enjoyed my video and until um, next time and I forgot to mention please look out for pictures at the end of this video because my camera does not do my look any justice wait until you see the the photos so stay tuned